Hola bonitas, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and wear test on the new Kylie Cosmetics Power Plush Longwear Concealer. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this. I just finished a good amount of the makeup look. Of course, I had to wait to do the concealer so we could do it on camera. I actually already did try out this concealer in my car as soon as I purchased it for my short form content. I did like a first impressions and I have to say, First impressions, I was pretty impressed with it. So now we're gonna do the full blown wear test, see how it wears for the entire day. This does claim to give you long wear, 12 hour wear, so vamos a ver como nos va. Um, so there are 40 shades of Kylie Cosmetics new Power Plush Concealer, which I definitely appreciate and love. You can find this at Ulta, that's where I purchased mine. You can also find it on Kylie Cosmetics website. Um, I did pick up the shade 6.5N. I always like to go in store to purchase these items porque especially with 40 shades i feel like you need to kind of see where you are on that shade range so i swatched a bunch of shades and i found that this one suited me the best so here is the concealer i do want to read a little bit about this concealer so this does contain 0.16 ounces um, and this one does retail for 27 dollars. honestly not the cheapest i'm gonna read a little bit about this it's supposed to be a weightless medium buildable concealer that brightens blurs and smooths to a natural satin finish it's hydrating and offers flexible and highly comfortable wear with cushiony soft feel for up to 12 hours this is crease proof cake free and multi-purpose concealer covers undry circles dark spots redness or can be used to highlight bronze and contour this is vegan cruelty free paraben free and clean so that's a little background on the concealer también compré i also purchased the brush and like i said i did try this out already and i have to say first impressions i loved how soft this brushes i also like the shape of it it's shaped like a triangle it's sturdy porque lo sé i used it um, but i'm very very impressed with how soft this brush is it's a very uniquely shaped brush so we're gonna go ahead and do one side with the brush and then of course the other side with a sponge so i can show you guys how they both look so this is the concealer i like how this brush is kind of angled upwards the doe foot applicator it's angled upwards so i feel like it really hugs the undrive really well and you guys can see i stopped right here with the foundation just so that we could really see how the concealer works on the undry so i am going to just apply the concealer aquí así and then up here that's how i've been liking my concealer lately doing a little bit in the front and then some up here to really angle and shape the eyeshadow, the eye look, the brightness on the under eye, I feel like it really lifts very nicely. So first impressions from yesterday, I really appreciated how this doe foot applicator applied the product. It really glided on nicely. It's a very lightweight formula as well. Um, I also really like this color. I feel like this color is the perfect brightener for the under eye for my skin tone. Um, so I feel like 6.5N is perfection. Now we're gonna go in with the brush. And I like how the brush, because it is shaped in a triangle shape, I feel like you can really press the product in, almost as if you're bouncing it like a sponge. And I feel like it just gives you really, really great coverage. Like I mentioned, this is a medium buildable consistency, and I definitely feel like even though it's a medium buildable product, it's giving me really, really good coverage. La cobertura. Si esta buena. Lately I haven't been into like too, too bright. I've been more so into a brightness that flatters and flows really nicely with the rest of my complexion. So I really appreciate the shade. If you are around my complexion, I would definitely recommend the shade. I think the shade is perfect. Um, I also like how this brush allows me to really angle my eyeshadow upward. I see, applies it perfectly. So with the concealer, with no concealer. You can definitely see that it covered that darkness that i have on the under eyes you cannot see that it also feels very very lightweight it doesn't feel heavy so i appreciate that especially because i'm somebody that has to set with a loose powder or i will crease i'm just going to be using my holy grail one this is the elf halo glow loose powder and i'm just going to press it right on to the under eye I have to tell you that I really appreciate how this formula is super creamy. It's not heavy or thick. And I feel like that really allows for everything that you layer on top to really nicely. So 
that right there is with the powder you guys can see we're gonna kind of let that sink into the skin for a little bit um, and just do its thing I do want to go ahead and put a little bit of the concealer onto la nariz the nose because I do have a little bit of redness on the nose and I kind of just want to cover any of that redness on there and again I'm going to be using the brush to kind of press it in you can also use a sponge to also press that product in I feel like if you want more coverage definitely use a brush because I feel like the brush does give you a lot of great coverage um, because I already have foundation on the nose I just am going to go in with my sponge to kind of further press it in and have it become one with the foundation but you guys can see like it does a really good job of covering redness as well okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my brush and I'm just gonna dust away the powder and you guys can see it looks really really nice and smooth with the powder it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look heavy it just looks really really good so I really appreciate that and that's the one thing that I do love about very lightweight concealers is that things layer on very nicely I feel like as somebody that has to go in with a powder after they apply their concealer because they just crease no matter what I do appreciate those lightweight formulas in concealers because everything just layers so nicely it looks super lightweight it becomes one with the foundation and also with the powder so it doesn't look cakey or heavy so this is with the concealer and this is with nothing. You can definitely see the difference there while still feeling very, very lightweight and very comfortable. Okay, I had to pause for a minute because there was something in my contacts. So I got to get it, so I had to get it out. And my eye ended up watering so much. I was like, oh my gosh, here goes the video. But look at the concealer still really nice and intact. I have to say, I'm very impressed. I literally was like, oh, there goes the concealer. It's gonna be ruined, but like I had a lot of tears going down. My contacts are very frustrating, but we were able to not ruin the concealer. And honestly, that was probably another test for the concealer to see how long wearing this is. And I think, I mean, it did very well with that. So you may be able to see a little bit, but I just wanted to show you guys how it looked, you know? I was like, I do not want to remove this concealer. I have to reapply it. But I didn't have to do that. Entonces, estamos bien. So now we're going to do this side. It's always when you're filming when there's the most noise outside. Always. So now we're going to do this side. And with this side, we are going to be using a sponge. So we're just going to apply it C. I really like this applicator. Like I like how it's angled up a little bit. Un poquito. So now we're going to take the sponge. It's applying really nicely también. Miren. Like, look at that. It does look a little tiny bit more natural than going in with a brush. I feel like if you want like the maximum coverage, you definitely want to go in with a brush. But it just looks perfect for like todos los días. You guys can see that. And this is a damp sponge and I don't feel like it's absorbing too much of the product. So I really like the consistency of this. I feel like the texture of the concealer is so creamy but still very, very easy to blend. Like, look at that. It doesn't look cakey at all. Like, it looks good with the powder. Here we have it with the concealer. So this is the side with the brush, this is the side with the sponge, both applied beautifully, both look great. Like I mentioned, my eye was watering a lot and I still think that even though the eye was watering, it looks great like you don't see like the teardrop marks like with some concealers you see like the teardrop marks but with this you don't like i'm very impressed with that i'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of the face so that we can begin the wear test on this concealer porque yo quiero ver how this works for the entire day and if it's worth your 27 dollars or no so keep watching okay bonita so i am back finished my entire face of makeup here is the concealer so overall i think it set really nicely while i finished the rest of my makeup you guys can see, I feel like it still looks really pretty. It looks fresh. Concealer is still really nice and in place. So that is a positive. But now we have the entire day to see how this is gonna do. So right now it is 10.50 a.m. We're gonna wear this until the evening. A ver como nos va. Um, I will show you guys a natural lighting clip of how this looks with the natural light. It is sunny, so it's like perfect weather, perfect fall weather. Um, but I really do like it. I feel like it feels extremely lightweight. It doesn't look cakey or heavy on the under eyes. 
It looks really nice, skin-like, but it's still giving me coverage. It's giving me that brightness that I want on my under eyes. Um, so now the true test is how this is gonna work for the entire day because this does retail for $27. That is not cheap. So I'm gonna go ahead, start my day, see how it goes, and I will see you guys at the end of the day for my final thoughts, letting you guys know if I think this is worth the money or not. So stay tuned. I feel like it looks really nice and natural lighting. The color also looks really good. So then weave in. Um, it feels and looks very lightweight as well. You guys can see. Just really nice and smooth. Y eso me gusta mucho. I'm actually impressed. I didn't know if I was going to like this concealer, but so far, so good. We still have the whole day. Pero I wanted to show you guys how this looks con la luz natural because natural lighting never lies. So I'll see you guys at the end of the day for my final thoughts. Stay tuned. Okay, bonitas, I am back. It is now 7.54 p.m. And this is what we look like. Así nos vemos. Honestly, I'm very impressed. Like, I wasn't expecting much from this concealer, to be honest. I almost didn't purchase it. Pero I am so happy I did because it wore beautifully for the entire day, el día entero. And today I actually had therapy. I did shed some tears, was shedding tears, and like you don't see teardrops. Like you literally do not see teardrops. And I told you guys in the morning I was having issues with my contacts, so my eye was watering a lot. I mean, and like everything still looks so good and in place. I'm impressed. I definitely don't mind paying $27 if I know it's going to be a really good concealer. And I think it definitely is. I mean, it passes the long wearing test. It's about to be 8 p.m. and it's still looking good. You don't really see any creasing at all. Y eso me gusta mucho. Um, I also love how lightweight it is. And I love the brightness it gives me. I love the fact that there's 40 shades. And this shade is perfection for me. Like, it's the perfect brightness on the under eyes. It really just works very, very well. So, if you've been eyeing this, highly recommend it. If you're looking for a good long wear concealer that's going to wear through some cries, some eye contact issues, like do not sleep on this one. Me gusta mucho. If you've tried this, let me know your thoughts. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let's go ahead and start our conversation. Pero a mí, sinceramente, me gusta mucho. If you guys enjoy watching this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know to continue doing these videos for you guys. I think that's it. I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed, and stay beautiful. Y nos vemos pronto. Adios, bonitas.